Hey guys, this is the Terra Pump fourth generation fuel pump, and this is the pump that you can put into your gas can to make it easier for you to pump gas into your lawnmower or your automobiles or anything like that. So this is from Amazon. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. Okay, so you got a couple of adapters here for different fuel storage containers for the unit. Here's the unit housing and everything in there. Okay, so this is a fairly long hose for your applications. I know I've used some of these before and they've been shorter than that, so that's a should be a nice hose for that and for the uh, gas gas can itself that should be sufficient. Here's the instruction manual that you get with it. Now this unit does run on four AA batteries. It does not come with any batteries so you guys need to supply your own batteries. Now I did uh, notice in the manual as well in emergency situations you can run the unit off of two batteries, but for a shorter period of time. Okay, so how this works is you obviously put this into your gas can and you, you tighten it on. We'll demonstrate that a little bit later. And then this unit here has some clips um, right here. You see this clip? You can put it into your, your gas can in your, in your car or your lawnmower, and you just put it on there and it clips on there. Okay, as you can see, guys, in here, there's a sensor and that sensor is supposed to detect when the fuel is at a certain level and shut the unit off. We'll actually see if that sensor in there actually works. So there it is, there's a better angle on it. On the unit itself, there also is this area here and what you do when you're done fueling, you can put the hose back in there and it's like a little storage spot for your hose. Okay, so we'll take this out and um, get it all set up and see how it works. So as per the instructions here, what you're to do is to take the three adapters and choose the one that best fits your gasoline tank. Then insert the hose into the adapter into the tank that you just put the adapter on. Then when you're using the discharge hose, it says that you should always have it in a vertical position. After that, push the on button and the fuel will start discharging. It says that the sensor will automatically stop the unit when it reaches the full line. Then, of course, after everything is said and done, and you're done transferring your gas, you can put the hose into the unit for safe storage. Okay, so we're outside in the garage, and we're going to see which one of these adapters will fit the gas tank that I have. This is a, an older gas tank. Yours is obviously going to differ from this one. So we're going to take a look at these, these adapters that they give us and see which one fits the best. So, I'm just going to remove the old gas cap here. Let's see which one gives the tighter fit. Okay, that one will go on. Let's see, that one's too loose. Okay, so out of these three, three adapters. So, this particular adapter is the one that fits my gas can the best. So, let's get this on here. We're going to screw this on here like this, tightening it up nice and snug. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the gas hose and just feed it through, feed it through right there. Then we're gonna take the fastening uh, nut on here and we're just going to screw it onto the gas can. Okay, so that's nice and snug. Now that is on there. Okay, I brought the unit over to my lawnmower here and I'm just going to take off the gas cap. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm going to put this clip inside here and fasten it right here. This this clip, I'm just going to fasten it on the inside like that. Okay, and then we can turn on the pump and watch it work. Okay, so we're going to turn it on here. Pump is on, gas is coming through the hose, it's going in, and it's going into the tank. See if we can zoom it in a little bit there. Okay, now this thing says that it can do 2.4 gallons per minute. does look like it's moving pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to shut it off here for a minute. Just going to turn the off button. I'm just going to check. Okay. The level is, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here, it's right up to about here. I usually fill it to about here, so I'm not going to test the auto shut off on this particular lawnmower, but I will check it on the push mower that I have. So let me just start it again. Just going to put it on and just let it go up a little bit further. Okay. Okay, guys, so we got the push mower over here. So let's try to demonstrate the auto shut off and see if that actually works with this pump. So let's get the gas cap off. Okay. And we'll take this and we'll put it in there. We'll put, we'll put it down uh, fairly far. And we'll turn on the pump here and see if it actually shuts off. Okay. Okay, it is shutting off. It looks like it's getting some backsplash. I believe that's what's happening. The flow of the field is going in there, hitting the bottom of the tank and splashing up to the sensor and shutting it off. I believe that's what's happening. So that's a good sign, but not really good for when you want to fill up your tank. So hopefully, let's let's take it out and let's start it. Okay, so that was my fault. It did shut off. The auto shut off does work. Um, I had it out far. That was my fault. Um, if you have it in too far, unfortunately, what will happen is the flow of gas will go in there, splash on the bottom, hit the sensor, and shut the unit off. So what you do have to do, you have to hold it outside. In this particular instance, for me, you have to hold it up like this. Um, not as far as I had it up too high. That's my, that was my fault. It overflowed. Okay, but if you have it down here at a reasonable level and you can watch it going in, the auto shut off does work. It did work in this particular instance, so that's a good sign. I'm not sure how long it will hold up, but I will let you guys know um, any in an update if if anything does change in the future. Okay, so my final thoughts on this particular unit after using it just one time. I think it works pretty well. It did go pretty fast, uh, filling up both my uh, lawn, my uh, zero turn lawnmower and really fast filling up my push mower. And it does have the clip on design for the, the regular zero turn lawnmower. However, that did not work with the push mower for my particular instance. I had to hold it up there. I wasn't able to clip it because of the splashback that was shutting off the sensor. And um, that's not bad. It filled it up very quickly. I uh, just had it a little too high, and that's why it flowed over. So, so far, I think it, it's a good purchase for me. If you guys do like the item, I will put the link in the description down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If there's uh, anything else that you'd like us to take a look at, please let us know in the comments section below. Please like, share, all that good stuff on the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.